Hey guys, it's Lopez, and today I'm reviewing the Invicta Fragrance Collector's Edition. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with Sea Hunter. This is an EDP, Eau de Parfum. This is the 100ml bottle. 3.4 fluid ounces. So the price range for this fragrance, you're looking at 30 to $50 online. The prices do fluctuate. You can find it for $30 if you're lucky. You can find it for 40, or you can even get deals on it. So we're gonna start off with the box presentation. It is like a matte blue finish. You got a list of ingredients in the back. You have a barcode down here. You got the Invicta logo. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it. So this is the fragrance out of the box. We're gonna start off with the bottle cap. Very beautiful bottle cap. He got the Invicta logo. And underneath, like inside the bottle, you also get a little Invicta logo. And it's a very heavy weighted cap. Once it's on together, it's pretty heavy and you're getting the matte blue finish on the bottle. You're getting a tungsten atomizer, and then you get the size 3.4 fluid ounces. No other information on the bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the air. The atomizer is actually pretty good on these. Really good stuff. So the notes that I pick up for this fragrance, I get aquatic, I get woody, I get fresh, and I get a lot of cool water. It smells a lot like cool water, but it's a lot smoother. The notes that are listed for this fragrance are pineapple, kumquat, coriander, lavender, geranium, neroli, rose, amber, cedarwood, musk, oak moss. So this is a versatile fragrance. So what's the duration on this fragrance? You're getting two hours of projection, six hours on the skin, and 10 hours on the clothing. I would recommend doing 12 sprays with this fragrance. All right guys, so Invicta did not fool me. This fragrance is a clone to Creed's Green Irish Tweed. It smells very similar. It's a clone. So up next is Venom from Invicta. This is also a 100 ml bottle and it's 3.4 fluid ounces. The box is identical to the previous one. It's just red. You're getting Invicta logo, barcode, size it's 100 mil we're gonna go ahead and unbox this all right guys so this is the fragrance out of the box it's identical to the previous one it's just a red matte finish everything else identical the sprayer is the same like the previous one good stuff so the notes that i pick up for this fragrance i get sweet i get watermelon and i get sandalwood the notes listed are violet cardamom sandal Iris, Virginia, Cedarwood, Niagara Moth, Amber, and Leather. So this fragrance smells like a unisex fragrance. I think a woman could pull this off. So since this is a lighter scent, the duration on this fragrance is 1.5 hours of projection. You're getting five hours on the skin and you're getting nine hours on the clothing. I would recommend doing 12 to 15 sprays on this fragrance. If you haven't caught on to the pattern, this fragrance is a clone to Creed's Millicene Imperial. Up next is Bolt. This is a 100 ml bottle, 3.4 fluid ounces. This is the box presentation, identical to the previous ones. It's just gray. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. So this is the fragrance out of the box. It's a matte gray finish. And it also weighs a ton. The sprayer, good stuff. So the notes that I get for this fragrance, I get sweet, I get fruity, I get like an orange. And then I get like a vanilla or either chocolate. The notes listed for this fragrance are apple, tangerine, cardamom, nutmeg, lavender, orange blossom, cocoa, patchouli, and amberwood. This fragrance, by smelling it, I would say it's a springtime fragrance or either nighttime fragrance or a winter fragrance. So what's the duration on this fragrance? You're getting two hours of projection, six hours on the skin, and 10 hours on the clothing. I would recommend doing 10 sprays with this fragrance. This fragrance is a clone to Creed's original Centel. All right guys, so the last fragrance on this set is Reserve. 
This is a 100 ml bottle, 3.4 fluid ounces. This is the box presentation. You get the logo. You get the same information on the back. You get a barcode. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. So this is the fragrance out of the box. Same thing with the cap. Matte black finish. No information down here. You get the size. Sprayer. I'm going to go ahead and spray myself with this one. It's my favorite. Good stuff. So out of this entire set, this is my favorite. The notes that I pick up, I get smoky. I get pineapple. I get apple. I get fresh. I get woody. The notes listed are apple, bergamot, pineapple, sage, jasmine, leather, musk, amber, white woods. So this is a versatile fragrance. So what's the duration on this fragrance? You're getting two hours of projection, six hours on the skin, and 10 hours on the clothing. I would recommend doing 10 to 12 sprays on this fragrance. This fragrance is a clone to the king and the one and only Creed Aventus. Do I recommend this set? Yes, I recommend it because it was dirt cheap. I spent, I wanna say under $20 for each bottle. And I ordered these from a site called Shop HQ. I saw them talking about watches on the Invicta channel. And I noticed that they had fragrances. So I checked them out and I got a really good deal on it. So I have the paperwork here showing. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but I got each one of these fragrances for under $20, with shipping included. It was, I would say, what was it? $84 with shipping and everything for four 100 ml bottles. Would I repurchase these fragrances? Yes. If you have no idea what Crete fragrances smell like, this is a good step in the right direction because you're getting the best and most popular fragrances that Creed has. They have Creed Aventus, um, Millicene Imperial, uh, Original Santel, and the Green Irish Tweed. And those are very popular fragrances. And you're getting all that right here. And surprisingly, the performance on these, they're above average. Um, I was expecting something cheap, but these are really good stuff. So Invicta did not fool me. I noticed after the second fragrance what they were up to. I noticed the pattern and I'm happy with this purchase. These fragrances were made in France and they were bottled in the US. Each one of these fragrances are Eau de Parfum and they're 100 ml bottles. So you have a total of 400 ml. That's enough to smell like Crete for the whole year. So we had Bolt, which is a clone to original Santel. We had Reserve, which was a clone to Crete Aventus. We had Venom, which is a clone to Millicene Imperial. And we had Sea Hunter, which was a clone to Green Irish Tweed. So this is the scent that I'm currently wearing. I smell like Aventus. The thing I love about these fragrances is that you don't have to worry about breaking the bank. You can smell high end at a low cost. I'm gonna go ahead and spray myself down. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Mm. Two more for the money. And that's it. So wrapping things up, I'm going to give this set a thumbs up because it was cheap. The performance was pretty impressive for what I paid for. And you're getting four 100 ml bottles for, I would say, without the shipping, under $60. And that's impressive. And the quality of these fragrances, they're actually really good. Really decent clones. They're not as crazy as some other clones out there like let's say like Armaf or Al Haramain. Yeah, nothing like that. But these are really good quality. Anyways guys, that was it for today. Until next time, this was Invicta's Fragrance Collector's Edition. And thank you all for your time.